after carrying out the July 4th massacre in Highland Park, police say Robert Bobby Cremo III considered attacking another holiday event. He allegedly drove 139 miles to Madison, Wisconsin with an assault rifle and 60 rounds of ammunition in his car. He did see a celebration that was occurring in Madison uh, and he seriously contemplated using the firearm he had in his vehicle to commit another shooting. Fortunately, he abandoned the idea. Indications are that he hadn't put enough thought and research into it. 21-year-old Cremo appeared in court via Zoom today, charged with seven counts of first-degree murder. He was dressed all in black and kept his head bowed for much of the time. More chilling videos are coming to light. It is my destiny. Everything has led up to this. Nothing can stop me, not even myself. Cremo posted this video of the Highland Park Parade route, set to a vintage rock hit. Was he scoping out the parade? Another video shows him manically building a hut in the backyard of his parents' home. That's the floor so far, I'm messing with it. The roof, I'm still bolting it in right now. He ends the video with a bizarre sign-off. Goodbye, Mr. FBI agent. In 2019, police were called to the Cremo home twice, once for a reported suicide attempt, and again, threatening to kill family members. They confiscated 16 knives, a sword and dagger, and declared Cremo a clear and present danger. Yet he was able to purchase two assault rifles and three handguns after his father signed a consent form enabling him to buy the firearms. I spoke with the parent's attorney, Steve Greenberg. Knowing his troubled past, why did his father sponsor a license for a firearm? His father didn't sponsor him for anything. His father signed a consent form that allowed his son to go through the process. Why did he give his consent at all, knowing cops had been to his house, they recovered all these knives, knowing that they had a troubled son? There's no information that he was out there you know, wildly shooting at things or killing animals or anything like that. I don't, I don't get these troubling signs. Everyone who's a parent could point in retrospect to a moment that they would have handled something differently. The family say they never saw the disturbing videos Cremo posted on social media, which also reveal an obsession with the number 47. It is tattooed on his face and painted on his car. And look at this bizarre tweet. Number 47 repeated over and over. Forensic psychiatrist, Dr. Keith Ablo. This is someone who is only making sense to himself and having worked with lots of folks with delusions, they can have very complex and textured thought processes that make perfect sense to them. They don't make any sense to anyone else.